Marita, thank you so much for joining us on the House of Wellness. Oh, pleasure to be here. You have created many robots in your young lifetime, but I do understand that you had an amazing vision for your very first robot. Tell us about that. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so my mum would ask me to help her do chores around the house and I would do them begrudgingly. And I, I remember I was washing the dishes and I thought, oh, it'd be so good to have like a robot help out and do all these chores in the house, like um, clean the floors and do the dishes and just do all the housework. So most kids want to avoid doing the dishes. But what is it about you, do you think, that is drawn to robots? Oh, I, I think it's just that idea that I had, which was like, we have all these amazing computer systems. Why don't we have more intelligent mechanical systems that can help us in the real world? And, and, and I just thought, you know, I want more of that in this world. I, I want to be part of it. I want to make it happen. And so it was just this dream that just sounded so exciting and that wasn't realised yet. And so I, I don't want the robotic revolution to take off without me. I want to be part of that. I understand that you've created an invention for visually impaired people. Can you tell us about that? Sure. So blind people, when they hop out of their taxi at their new location they've ever been, they can point their phone and see that there's a park in front of them or a parking lot or a building or a sidewalk um, and it would help make their lives easier. So you can walk around and your phone automatically does these recognitions. So it does seven recognitions a second. And so if you have like a messy space and you're looking for your keys and you're like, I'm trying to find my keys, you can just put your phone over a table or a desk and, um, you know, see that there's a cup there or a paper or some paper or a book, books or and then once you hear keys, you can know to like zero in on that area and pick up the keys so that you can leave the house. And so we we created the the app and um, it's been downloaded over 500,000 times and being used all over the world in 23 different languages. So um, it's, yeah, it's, it's nice to know that, you know, we created something that, that was helpful to some people. It's really amazing, Marita, and... I find it really interesting that we hear a lot of negative talk around AI and how AI is going to ruin our lives as humans moving forward, but you are obviously painting a world in which robotics is only enhancing human life. Yeah, I mean, I think there's definitely lots of opportunities with robotics and I think that, yeah, the most rewarding is to use technology to help people and improve our lives and, and make life better for people and so that's what I try and dedicate my energy towards. Do you have a favourite invention? Uh, I, I think I'm always like engrossed in whatever I'm working on so I'm, I, I like my, my latest robot the most which is the 8 degree of freedom robotic arm. It's 8 degrees of freedom so it can move around into lots of different positions and uh, it has its own movable platform so it can yeah, roll around and go to lots of places. I think it's just great because we we're able to have it lift over one and a half kilos um, uh, with it in its current iteration, and um, and it's and it's really affordable. So I'm really proud of that. Do you think that there is a shift, and we're seeing more women in engineering and science and robotics? Yeah, I think we are seeing um, more women um, put their hands up and and get involved, but it's it's still a a journey to, to get to um, parity. I mean, when I uh, when when I was doing my course, it was ten percent women in engineering, and um, there yeah there are more women now, um, but we're we're still not there yet. And finally, what would you say to girls contemplating a career in science? Go for it. There's a lot of opportunities. The world is a big wide place, and if you're interested in the ocean or, or, or plastics or recycling or robotics or coding, um, there's, there's like so many ways that you can use your science and use your brains to help make the world better just in, in, in the way that, that really speaks to you. So if you like science, um, go for it.